My name is Matt Tananga. I've been uh, actively riding bikes for about four years. Started off uh, originally mountain biking, then got into road biking. Uh, been working with Mike for about four years. Uh, decided last year to become competitive, and uh, Mike has helped me in that endeavor, both in the mountain biking and in uh, road biking uh, racing. I'm racing in the Timber Series, the State Cup Series for the Cat 2 50 plus age group. I'm 52. I sure don't feel 52, I feel 32. I met Matt Tananga several years back when he approached me about riding in the Hotter Than Hell 100. And when we first started visiting about it, he quickly decided that he wanted to join up with a group training program we had to prepare him for the Hotter Than Hell. He came up with a master plan. He wanted to be in the Texas State Cup race and he not only wanted to participate in all 14 races, he wanted to be, as they say, a contender. So we took it on. We looked at it and basically from my point of view, what I want to do with you as a coach is help you find your ride. It's not about me giving you some preconceived package of saying this is what you've got to do. It's what do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? And with Matt and athletes like Matt, it's about how much time do you have available? What are the other things in your life that you have to take care of so that we can make sure when you come ready to train your time's available and you're not stealing it from somewhere else. My uh, training regiment, I'm spending about 10 hours a week uh, doing training. Uh, a lot of that's done on the road and when we have bad weather we also do it on the trainer. Uh, I am doing also uh, some uh, core workouts uh, at least twice a week. Um, also some yoga. Uh, Mike has me doing some very, very strong or very intense workouts over two hours long. I'm working to keep my heart rate up in my zone four, zone four and a half for two hours. Mike is a coach. Uh, Mike's, Mike's a great coach. He will hold, hold you accountable. Um, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for somebody that's gonna give me the information I need to succeed at my goal, to be able to have somebody that I can talk to after a race and before a race. We can look at my weaknesses, the things I've, that I need to do better at, and Mike can give me the information I need to attack that weakness and no longer have that weakness be a, you know, be a problem during the race. Um, he has uh, taught me the right way to ride a bike. You know, I took spin classes from him many years ago, and uh, they've uh, just pushed my performance level to each, 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 from each year, my performance level has increased. And, and it's brought me to the level where I can now amateurly compete and have, enjoy it and uh, just enjoy the racing part of it and understand what I need to do as an athlete to be stronger. The other thing I like about Matt is that he definitely is reliable. I don't have to worry about whether or not he's taking care of the other areas of his training because as a coach, I'm sorry, I can't deal with codependent athletes. I want athletes who are self-responsible, motivated, driven, accountable. They know what they want and they're willing to do the work to get it. But I also like athletes like Matt that don't buy into a win at all cost theory. They understand that winning does have costs and sometimes you don't want to jeopardize relationships or health on the way to get that performance. Take it slowly, take it surely, take it steadily, but take it. You know, I compete as a cyclist, but that's not the reason I, I, I like to ride my bike. The reason I like to ride my bike is because cycling gives you more than just uh, ability to exercise. You, uh, you get out there, you enjoy the outdoors, you enjoy uh, friends that you ride with. Plus, you, you just feel so much better when you ride. Um, the stress reliever is huge. You know, when you're out riding a bike, you can't sit there and think about, oh, I gotta do this email, I gotta do that email. All you can think about is I'm riding my bike, I'm you know, enjoying my friends, we're talking about riding, we're not talking about work, we're enjoying the outdoors together. Uh, this uh, cycling 
is, give, is an all-around change of life that you can do for yourself and make yourself feel better and make yourself um, be proud of what you're doing and, and, and the way you feel. And the better sleep, the better, uh, the better energy that you have, you're less stressful you know, at home, so you're getting less arguments with your wife. You know, that's always a plus. Um, plus, you know, if you, can, if you can get your wife interested, you can do it together. That's one thing you can do together, you know, and she's not going to get too upset with you, you know. Um, it's, it, 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 it is a change of lifestyle because you, once you start to cycle, you look at all the, th the benefits that you're getting, and so you start to look at your food intake and what you're doing with your food. Um, how, how can that help, you know, by, by eating better? Um, just, and then and, and I don't get sick like I used to. I used to get colds every year. I haven't gotten a cold, I think, in a year and a half now. Um, that is just another plus that you have by being healthy and being, you know, you don't have to race to be healthy. You know, I got healthy, then I started racing. So that's not my, my end all isn't racing. My end, my end all was to be healthy and, and have a full round life and a long life. Somebody wants to buy bicycle equipment, where do they need to go? They need to go Plano Cycling and Fitness.